Hey y'all, this is Brett, and I guess I'm in a storytelling mood today because I've got another one for you. It was the fall of 2008, and I was helping with the Obama campaign, and um, it was really tight here in North Carolina been between he and John McCain. And so uh, James Taylor, the musician, decided to come here back to his old stomping grounds where I guess he grew up quite a bit um, and play some concerts. And I think that he scheduled five around the state and I think it was pretty beneficial I'm sure for the campaign because we did win. But, um, and bear in mind, I'm not generally political but Obama really moved me and I do think that he's awesome. So, anyways, I parked cars for about four hours and then I came in and with the friends, people that were helping me to park cars and uh, the lady that was organizing the whole gig for the Obama campaign came up to us and said, does anybody have a pillow or a blanket that they can, in their cars that they can um, let us borrow for a little while? Uh, Mrs. Taylor is in this little trailer over here, and she is really cold, and um, we need something for her because she's just staying in the trailer, you know. They had basically gone out and just rented this little 15-foot trailer. This was kind of, this whole concert thing was a whim. This, it was just, uh, hey, let's go do this real fast because we need to get this the, the campaign going this month so that President Obama can win. And, um, and so they hadn't really prepared very well at all, and they just rented this little trailer and didn't even bring any blankets, so nobody did. And so I hopped in my car, and I went all the way back home and grabbed one of my famous, world-famous, millet hole pillows and a couple of wool blankets, my nice wool blankets that I, you know, I consider them nice, 100% wool blankets from the Army Supply Place. And, you know, I, at that time, I didn't have two cents to rub together. And so this was kind of, I was sticking my neck out a little bit. But the uh, Secret Service said that I would get my pillows and bl pillow and blankets back. And, uh, and so I, I willingly, you know, gave them. And I thought to myself, well, you know, if maybe I'll get to meet James Taylor after the concert or something. That would be awesome, you know. And uh, so anyways... I really helped out with that and I'm quite proud of myself and I have this little story to tell people. I didn't get to meet James Taylor. Uh, it was just kind of like the Secret Service were like bulldogs and they weren't going to allow me anywhere near the man. But I did get to sit right in front of him basically. You know, there's a little guard fence in between the mass public and James Taylor in the little stage that they'd created for him. And only about 20 people got to sit in front of the barrier in between him and the, the barrier and the stage, which was four, you know, six feet, six feet. And so it was awesome. And he hasn't missed a beat. The man is incredible. And, um, let's see, what else? We kicked ass. President Obama kicked John McCain's freaking ass all the way to wherever. <laughs> and, and he'll do the same in 2012. Not that, you know, not that I agree totally, as you know, with everything that President Obama does. It's just that basically I think that he's the best president that I've seen in my life, and I was born in 1965. <laughs> That's quite a few presidents. Not near as many as some of you. But I hope you enjoyed this story. Please subscribe to me if you want to hear the truth about shit. And <sighs> what a beautiful day. Get out in the sun, show some skin. Enjoy your life as much as you can. Water, waddle through the, the tough times and get healthy. All naturally. Naturally. No drugs. Fuck the drugs. <laughs>